Can I buy a house if I've declared bankruptcy? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with REN Network, and I'm here with Jason Bonarigo, and we're answering this question today that we get a lot. And the question is, is can we still buy a house if we've declared bankruptcy? So, Jason, tell me, can you still buy a house if you've declared bankruptcy at some point in your life? Yes. That's okay. the good answer. Okay. Um, obviously, it depends, and I'm sure you know there's a, ma a million caveats to right. that. But yes, but the standard is as long as um, your, your credit is relatively and still in good standing, right. and it's been two years. What most lenders look for is two years so from two the years. date of discharge. Okay. From the date the bankruptcy is discharged, whether it's okay. a Chapter 7 or... So not filing, or actual discharge. Actual discharge. Gotcha. So you put it together, you have the date, you've discharged, all your debts are cleared, if you will, and yep. that's something you work with with your attorney, and they usually walk you through it too, saying, hey, right. this is the timeline on that but that's what we look for and then we're going to see those discharge papers we ask for a copy of those discharge papers makes sense and as long as you're two years out and then we usually help the client kind of report that back to the credit companies as well and as long as it's two years again as long as um everything else is in good standing um then yeah, yeah so now what, it's workable what happens so that's two years regular foreclosure or excuse me bankruptcy but yes, what happens if i've been foreclosed on a little so, bit different. A lot different. So situ every situation is different. Every situation is different. Again, the big piece is, yes, we'll do a BK, uh, bankruptcy. We'll do lending on a, on a bankruptcy after two years in most cases. Um, every, everyone's different, obviously. And right. I, I just say that because there's so many factors that come into play. But the foreclosure. Now, if you've had a home foreclose inside of that bankruptcy, that's a whole different ballgame. Sounds like that's another video. And it, it could be another. It <laughs> okay. should be another video. So, so we'll do that guys. as another and video. that could we'll, be up to seven years on okay. that. But we'll talk more about, about so, that. A big question I've always had, I, I, don't know, I don't know, but if I do declare a bankruptcy, does it completely wipe out my credit? I mean, do I have to rebuild my whole entire credit score all from start? Surprisingly, no. Surprisingly, okay. no. Yes, I mean, the good thing, so I've had I've had cases where, where folks have improved their credit scores when they come back to me after two, two and a half, three years right. with, with the bankruptcy. Well, because you've cleared all the debts. You've cleared all your debts, so that's right. a good news. You've got rid of that, that's a good thing. But then if they're smart, and again, they're educated and they're working through it, they're not just kind of sitting there waiting for the next three years, right? Maybe right. they're getting a, I don't want to use names, but maybe a small little Visa account or a MasterCard account, you right. know, 200 bucks, 500 bucks. Pay Where they're play, constantly paying the Paying to play and kind of putting it in. But that's the best. I cannot recommend that more. That's the best way to do that. So you can actually come right. out of bankruptcy. I've, I've had folks come out of bankruptcy with 700 FICO scores. So yes, as long as you're kind of Because they've cleared all the debts again. Yeah. The first so. six months, obviously, Jeff, are very tough. You know, right. it's going to probably, you know give you a bowl of cereal, but um, but after that, you know, you start to work on it, get a few little credit cards, you'll be surprised after 12 months how many folks will offer you kind of those those pay and play little credit cards, and those are the best things to do. Just do your grocery shopping, pay them off Don't every month. Don't go out and get 20 of them. Yeah, get exactly, one. get one or two, no right. big screen TVs, nothing like right. that, but, but that's the stuff to build it up, and then, Again, fresh as a daisy, two, 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 three years, you're, you're back in business. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we talked, that's the credit, right? Yeah. We've talked about the big three, so that's the credit piece of the big three. Which is a huge piece. Obviously. So, I'm assuming I probably still need an income as well Still need as... a job and still need a, a down payment. Okay. So, yeah, nothing's changed on the bankruptcy side. Okay. Everyone thinks, well, that's it for me, I'm done. And, and it's, just, it's just not the case where... The king of second chances, so it's right. it's not a bad thing as it as it should be because they I mean look at well America loves the comeback you know look at COVID or something right. that happens right there I mean sometimes it's just plain bad luck right and 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 to that point we're going to be looking for explanations on kind of how that happened started a business and eh, right there's a you know as long as it wasn't reasons, just right. you know bad financial decisions across the board we're going to give you that second okay. chance yeah so I got a, a bankruptcy. Two years have gone by yep. oh, my, since I've been discharged. Mm -hmm. I'm now looking to buy a house. Yeah. What does the bankruptcy do to my rate? So no, I, I want to say nothing, but it really, it, again, it goes back to what I just said earlier, the FICO score. Okay. It's all about that credit score. So that's kind of built into it as a risk module. Right. That that comes into play. So if I'm running your credit, you know, that two and a half years, let's say, afterwards, and, and you come out at a 712, um, you know, and you used to be a 680, or you maybe you were You're 800. Using a 712. I'm using that 712, and right. that's it. Or maybe you come out as a 682 with the bank. So but that's what you are. It's not. It's not another risk layer on top. I think so it affects asking. your rate by because but, it affects your credit score. But, not but it's twice. not like hey, I. Right. Declared bankruptcy, so you're going to go ding them an extra quarter. But not twice. Right. Exactly. Okay. We're not right. doing that. It's built in, and we know it is. And if you're 712, you're 712. So works. the answer, can I buy a house if I've declared bankruptcy, yeah. is yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, so, you can. Um, well, that's great. I'm Jeff Chubb. My team, the Chubb Homes team, were brokered by eXp Realty. And Jason, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, cell phones usually the best way. 617-413-5038. I'm an RMS mortgage. And yeah, just give me a call or shoot me a text. Jason Bonarigo uh, yes. with RMS Mortgage. Yes. And you can get me at 617-413-5038. 
617-480-2600 or find us online at boston2.com. We thank you for watching. We look forward to hearing your real estate questions. That way we can answer them as well. And if you like this type of uh, information, be sure you hit that subscribe button below uh, for more valuable information coming at you. Thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing from you.